Find the angle between 0 and 2 pi radians that is coterminal to this given angle of 10 over 3 pi. All right, so first thing is let's kind of draw a little coordinate system, all right, with our radian measures. Since we're talking about a positive angle over here, we know we're rotating counterclockwise around the uh, coordinate system here. This is 0. This is then 1 half of a pi. This has to be memorized. You have to know how many radians there are here. This is then 3 halves pi. <clears throat> this would then be 2 full pi. All right, <coughs> excuse me, and then we can keep going, all right? Now, if you notice, instead of dealing with fractions here, you can deal with decimals if you wanted. So watch, ready? Let's go rewind just a touch. So this could be represented as 0.5 pi. This could be represented as one pi. This could be represented as 1.5 pi. This could be represented as 2 pi then if you go full circle. And then this could be represented as 2.5 pi. This could be represented as three pi. This could be represented as 3.5 pi and on and on and on, okay? Now what I wanna do here, just to get a feeling for where this is, I wanna take 10 and divide it by three. Because if I do this 10 thirds pi, if I take the 10 and divide it by three, in other words, if I find that that is equal to about 3.333 pi, or in other words, it's three and one third pi, I now know how many times I gotta rotate around, okay? Watch, ready? Start on the initial side. Then take this terminal end here and now rotate it three and a third pi. Half of a pi. Full pi. One and a half pi. Two pi. Two and a half pi. Three pi. Three and maybe a third pi. I went a little too far, right? Three and a third pi. So what happens here is you rotated fully two pi and then you went another pi and a third, essentially right? A pi and a third. In other words, this little piece in here represents a third of a pi. A third of a pi, okay? Because you know that this represented three pi and that we had three and a third pi, so that has to represent a third of a pi. Hopefully that makes sense. Now, what we need to do here is we need to then figure out an angle that is coterminal. So the first thing is, all I did was I just kind of graphed my initial angle that was given here, okay? And now what I want to do is I find a coterminal angle. In other words, start your angle at the initial side again and take this terminal end and rotate it counterclockwise from always counterclockwise from that positive x-axis and you're going to have it end up in the same place. That's what it means to be coterminal. Co means together, terminal means at the end. So we have the same end point for both of these angles. Now my question to you is this. What is this measurement? What is this angle measurement right now? I know that's a little big, but what's that angle measurement? Well, you might say to yourself, well, wait a minute, isn't it just, Andrew, isn't it just this? Isn't it just half of a pi, a full pi, and then a third after a full? And I'm gonna tell you, yes, yes it is. So does that mean it's just one and a third pi? And I'm going to say yes, that is the value. That's the angular measure there. Guys, thanks for tuning in. That's the coterminal angle. I look forward to helping you with more problems. All right, take a look. We got thousands of questions out there, different courses for you to look through, solve specific problems. No matter what, if you're, if you're not doing the exact questions that we do, it, does, it still has a ton of value. You can find questions that are probably almost identical to the ones you might be having. We go through the OpenStax books, download them, go to the website. It's free. All right, take a look through it, find similar problems, then check out our videos. I guarantee we'll be able to help you, okay? Specifically, take care.